Hello there and welcome back to the Master Moldy channel. Today we are going to be taking my Lego Star Wars clone troopers and building a platoon that would even make Shy Time is My Time proud. So these are some really big goals I've set for this video because I have no experience of any sort of military layouts and Star Wars is a whole nother story because they make the rules up as they go along. I'm pretty sure Lucas didn't know half of what we know about clones when he started making the prequels. But before we start, if you do end up enjoying this content and want to have a few more conversations over on Discord, or perhaps you'd like to access all the instructions for only that £3 at the higher tier, do consider joining the membership. Thank you to everyone who has so far. And you also get your name 3D printed on a Lego brick on the members board, which I think is pretty cool. But let's get straight into the video and take a look at our first clone troopers. So as you can see, I've changed the angle so that we can see some of our clone troopers, prequel cool characters, very, very fitting for this video. But we all know what a clone trooper looks like. I do have a clone army video, which also adds some value to some of these figures and I think I've spent way too much on these little plastic figures, but at the same point, they look so, so cool, and I'm still going to spend tons more. We all know what a clone trooper looks like, though, and today we'll be seeing how many of these little guys are in the Grand Army of the Republic. So starting off, we have the regular trooper. These are all in Phase 2 armor, except for the Bad Batch, which... Thank you to a recent comment pointed out they're actually in the Catan style armor, which is the exact same as the Republic Commandos. And we're going to start off with a brigade. In this case, the cavalry, as Wrecker introduces them at the start of Bad Batch when they're reinforcing Depa Balaba and a young Kanan Jarrus. At the time known as Caleb Dune, we have the Bad Batch. This is the full batch. I don't think they ever, I guess this is from the very first season where Crosshair sort of has his whole villain arc. We've still got Tech around, Omega's quite young, and I really like that hairpiece for Hunter. It's not the perfect hairpiece, but it's pretty cool. Now, the Calvary in this case is a somewhat slang term. It doesn't actually mean a cavalry, as you'll know, in a military background. It's more like an emergency backup. So these were meant to be the backup for them. There was only the five of them because Omega wasn't around at this point and they were an experimental order of clones. It makes sense that they are the potential backups. Like they're not a full squad of troopers coming to the rescue. There's the five of them with their unique skills and that is the smallest squad of clone troopers will be going over. Now, you do also get brigades throughout Clone Wars, and they are unspecified numbers of troops, but they're usually led by a Jedi commanding officer. It's a special task force, and this would be the case when the bats show up in the Clone Wars and are led by Jedi General Anakin Skywalker. We have a few different legions to get through as well before we get to my full platoon, and we are cutting no corners I have a full platoon with all the clones needed to make one in universe. But beforehand, let's talk about a squad of troopers. So a squad of troopers have nine troopers. You have eight sort of soldiers, well, they're all soldiers, but you have eight of these less important clone troopers, no offense to any of them, and they are led by a clone sergeant, which is this commanding officer, on the left and a squad of clone troopers is made up of nine clones such as the clones we see in rookies which were stationed on the rishi moon station protecting it from an attack from general grievous so you've seen these dotted around a few times in clone wars and this is exactly what a squad would look like now we move up from squads and we have a platoon don't worry i don't have enough clones to represent the whole grand army here this death space is more than enough. These would be four squads of clones led by a clone lieutenant. For instance, a platoon of clones is seen in the Clone Wars Season 7 when we see all the clone troopers painting their helmets orange for Ahsoka. That is a whole platoon of clone troopers. And as far as we're aware, that's the only platoon that actually painted their helmets, by the way. So there's only going to be 36 clones in this. It's made up of four squads and we'll cut straight to the chase. 
That is what I've built here in 501st Troopers. Now, the army is much bigger than this, of course. We will be building up slowly as we look at all my other legions. But as you can see, it's a bit different to a typical clone army, shall we say. My clones aren't in this square formation. Well, they're not exactly not in a square formation, but they're not in a perfectly square formation. And that's nothing to do with the width of this 32 by 32 base plate, because you can definitely get a few more clones if you bunch them up to three studs. And the weapons also change much more than you would typically see in an army. Usually you see quite a easy pattern with weapons, but clone troopers really got to pick their own weapon, especially the 501st, which were some of the most elite clone troopers in the whole army. Now, as I said, a platoon is led by a clone lieutenant, which in this case is Arc Trooper 5. So you can see I have added a hairpiece to the official Lego minifigure. I think it makes him look so, so much better. And it's a little better than the inaccurate helmet, but you know, this isn't a video complaining about what Lego don't do right. This is a video showing off what they are doing right. And here you can see my full platoon of 501st Troopers. Now the 501st, there's an argument, is it a legion, is it a battalion? I think Lucas always wanted it to be a legion. Disney bought it in that it was a battalion and then became a legion. So we're looking at a battalion has four companies, which are four platoons. So there's at least 16 times this many clones in the 501st battalion. If it's a legion, there's 16 times that. There is a lot, a lot of clones and my bank will not let me take out a loan big enough to get that many clones. So perhaps that's a video for far off in the future where I end up with a couple million clones, you know, a small loan of a million clones to build an army. Surely Lego, that sounds a little reasonable for a video, doesn't it? But all of these clones have their very own weapons. This one's got a mini gun because it's a heavy and they're broken down. The platoon is broken down into four squads. You can see Right at the front, we have our heavy troopers with their riot shields, with their mini guns, with some of the heavier equipment. We also have a custom clone dogma who I feel like would want to be on the front lines. And then we have this other clone who perhaps just hasn't updated his armor yet because most of the clones did end up painting their own armor. I'm sure a few of them definitely had a hand with it because my hands are not steady enough to paint my own armor. But this heavy squad is led by Arc Trooper Fives, who actually leads the whole platoon. And each squad will still have their own commanding officer. So we've got nine clones per row, including the officer out the front. And the officers also have a few different accessories like this viewfinder for the second officer and then we've also got this visor of sorts for the officer back here and then this one has a little insignia and no it's the same as a captain captains lead the companies which is again four of these platoons but we can just pretend that's some officer insignia and it really can be whatever we want we then have two more regular squad of troopers i don't want to say regular because again we're talking about the 501st these are elite clones here but i've even managed to include my older style clone trooper so i'm happy he gets to join the platoon and then we have our special sort of long range we've got all the jetpack troopers who not only have backpacks but have sniper rifles and longer range weapons you can see the backpacks are blue which does match the ones we get in the set and then we have a few of my specialists. I have three specialists in total, two from Battle Packs, one from the recent magazine. It's just a shame they didn't come with extra macro binoculars, but only one of them's wearing the binox in this, because again, I wanna mix it up. Each of these clones has their own unique personality for the most part, you know? And the weapons really do vary. This one's got, it's like half a Boba Fett pistol. Most of them do have a regular pistol. The heavies, I've added this, extra engine on the front and then you can see a few other special like pistols and other weapons we've seen clones use not only through lego sets but also throughout the clone wars so where do we go from a clone platoon you've already heard we go up to a company and the 501st company well it's not called the 501st company but countless times in clone wars we've seen a company of 501st troopers led by captain rex and 
Captain Rex is leading a company, which is why there is such an argument by Disney for the 501st Legion to actually be a battalion. Because in Lucas Star Wars, Ahsoka was the second up for the 501st. But in Disney Star Wars, it actually goes from Anakin to Rex, which I think is quite nice because Rex is such a big part of Clone Wars. It's one of those Disney decisions I think I can definitely get behind. But Rex would lead a company of four platoons to the battlefield and then we move up to the battalion which as i said is the 501st legion or a battalion i like the fact it's a legion because we get so many clone troopers but if it was a battalion anakin would be leading with ahsoka as a trainee she's a padawan to anakin so she doesn't really have a hold on the 501st but when she is ready, she will, much like Anakin did with a 501st, Anakin started off second in command to Kenobi, who led the 212th Battalion, and that is a battalion no matter what source material you're looking at. So I guess one day if Ahsoka was to get to her Season 7 appearance without leaving the Order, she would have been handed her own Legion of Clones, and undoubtedly... It would probably have looked something like this in remembrance to her master's former legion the 501st and also with them really really cool helmets which i'll be honest if the 187th did that for mace windu there'd definitely be some questions asked and i have already mentioned that the 212th was a battalion so we have our 212th troopers here and not only were these led by kenobi but these were part of the seventh sky corps which we'll get to corps in a minute which were led by a jedi general and a martial commander which is cody here so we'll bring back cody and kenobi when we get there but above a battalion we have a regiment so just to remind you where we are we have the original clone troopers we then have nine of these in a squad four squads in a platoon four platoons in a company and four companies in a battalion such as the 212 which has 576 clones now in attack of the clones when we first see clones yoda is leading a regiment into battle and these are again typically led by a jedi general or a clone commander which we do see rex assume the place of the jedi general in season 7 for the 332nd but the regiment of clones that yoda leads to battle for the first attack on geonosis actually included quite a few well-named clones such as Rex, I think we also see Pons who was the lieutenant that Yoda speaks to and there's also another 501st member which slips my mind but this is 2,304 clone troopers just picture four lots of the 212 that is a load of clone troopers and it's probably about the same amount of clone troopers that were present for the second battle. Now we're up to Legion, so looking back to the 501st, if the 501st is considered a Legion by yourself, there's four regiments, which is 9,216 clone troopers. That is a lot. And amongst these, we also have a few other officials, such as the Fleet Admiral Yularen, who later becomes a Grand Admiral, which is similar to Thrawn's status. So there were only a handful of these, and Yularen was responsible for all these ships and isn't necessarily recognised in the amount of clones under his command because a lot of the time they will be going off with the ARF troopers, with the captains, commanders, and the Jedi generals. But it's definitely still a very very important position now back to the corps as i said earlier the corps were led by a jedi general and a martial commander here we have the leaders of the seventh sky corps which at the start of the clone wars was kenobi and anakin we know that in i think it's one of the queen's hope one of the padme books which are really really good reads but they have control over thirty six thousand eight hundred and sixty four clone troopers that's a lot of clone troopers but we even go bigger than that as we have the sector army 147,456 clone troopers led by a jedi member that was part of the high council such as kenobi who would have then led his sector army above the seventh sky corpse now a sky corpse includes so many different factions of clones we could have some unmarked clones fresh from kamino here we have 
Captain Wilco from the Bad Batch, and you're looking at clones like the 187th that even though they were led by Mace Windu, now these aren't necessarily part of the same sector army that Kenobi's, the Anakin's clones were, but even though we have a Jedi High Council member on the battlefield with these, this was towards the end of the war, so chances are Windu does also have his own sector army, and the same goes for Yoda. And there was 20 sector armies in the whole Grand Army of the Republic, can you even name 20 Jedi High Council members? I don't think we saw enough seats for them. And we also have some of the other ranks that were stationed closer to Coruscant, which would have been their own sector army for the centre of the Republic, such as the shock troopers who were led by Commander Fox, rather than being led into battle by a Jedi General. So there's a, another good example, as well as Rex, in Season 7 of the Clone Wars. And now we've got all of my clones in front of me again check out that clone army video because my clone army is about to expand very very soon but there were four corps in a sector army there were then two of these sector armies in a systems array and the grand army of the republic featured 10 systems array just to put it into perspective that is 3.3 million of these clone troopers in the entire grand army of the republic at one time excluding all the different squads that were created for various missions so that is a load of clones and then the grand army of the republic was led by the supreme chancellor which at the time was palpatine for way longer than he should have been i'm not brave enough to talk politics on this channel so that is all for today if you did enjoy i would appreciate you smashing that like button and hitting subscribe before you leave and let me know down in the comments what your favorite legion battalion regiment company of clones is in the entirety of the clone wars it's a hard one but for me i think i've got to go with the 501st the boys in blue so let me know down in the comments your favorite and check out all the videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always